Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and I'm here to announce a series that I'm going to be doing over the next couple weeks. It's going to be four or five parts, depending on how the video has worked out, and that's going to be the end of it. And this is going to be a series talking about doing YouTube as a gaming commentator, you know, the different sides of it. And it's really going to be a big focus on sharing with you guys, anyone who's interested, maybe someone who's looking to do this themselves, someone who's been doing it and just needs a little bit of guidance or is looking for a little bit of research and knowledge, or maybe someone who's just on the outside looking in and wants to understand why people like myself have decided to do what we do. That's really going to be the the benefit that I hope people are going to get from this series. And we're going to break it down. There's going to be several parts of it. Uh, the first week, starting next week, we're going to start with the core basics, which is equipment. We're talking audio equipment. Um, recording software, editing software, video software. There's a lot of great stuff out there that's free or that's cheap. There's ways to get expensive programs um, for next to nothing. And I'm not talking about pirating. I'm talking about stuff to do with uh, with school, usually. If you're in school, there's a lot of ways you can get your hands on things like Adobe um, for next to nothing just because you're in school. And a lot of people aren't aware of those sorts of things. So those are the things we're going to be covering. You know, microphones. People think you have to spend a lot of mics. There's a lot of mid-range mics. There's a lot of low-end mics like the Blue Yeti Snowball or the... The blue snowball and the blue yeti and even cheaper stuff than that if you know you need to just start somewhere so there's a lot of discussions we're going to have on that we're also going to be talking about my equipment um i'm going to give you guys little bits of you know reviews about the stuff that i've worked and what i think about it and that's really going to be the first week just getting everybody set up with the basics of what you need to start actually recording and to create you know great sounding audio that people are going to want to listen to for hours on end you know every single week um, at least, you know, that's what you're hoping for. You want to have that positive outlook that people listen to something that people are going to want to listen to. Let's make it sound as good as it can. The second week, we're going to follow up with what I think is going to be the most important video of the series, and that is your personal development. There's a lot of things that go hand in hand with, with, the, with personal development. You know, we're going to be talking about speech, uh, your vocabulary. Obviously, mistakes are always made, and people don't actually understand how much effort goes into just making commentary sound and be as clean as they do for a lot of people they you know they just think it's no big deal and everybody likes to correct you when you say one word wrong or right and think it's a big joke but the fact is try speaking like we do like people like myself do for you know five six 45 minutes straight and see if you can make less errors than we do there's a lot that goes into that we're going to be talking about that that's something that i personally have spent a lot of time with and if you're serious about this type of thing it's something that you should be willing to spend a lot of time in and then, of course, there's other things that go along with expressing your personality, trying to bring out the best parts of you, the parts of you that are usually active when you're in a casual social setting. But when you sit down to do something serious, your brain kind of turns those things off. You need, to, you need to learn how to tap into those elements because they are part of your personality. And that's what people are going to be looking for. I still have little pieces of trouble with that, but we're really going to be talking on that because I think that's a very important topic. That's going to be the second week. For the third week, we're going to be talking about you know, sort of the meat and core of being a gaming YouTuber. That's the games, you know, the decisions that you're going to have to make. What kind of games am I going to play? Am I going to be a variety channel? Am I going to do first impressions? Am I going to do let's plays? You know, what What do I want to do and what is going to work best for me considering my current setup when you start talking about PC, console? You know, these are all the options you have. Are you going to play console? Are you going to focus on one console? All consoles are you going to focus on PC. What's most affordable for you? A lot of people want to go out and they want to make a channel 100% about playing something like Arma 3 and they find out, oh, I can't even I can't even afford to run Arma. You know, you have to be reasonable with what your budget is. You could say that, hey, I'll save up for two years and I'll buy the perfect rig, but that's two years. I beg you, that is two years of your life that you are not working on this. If you want to take it seriously, you need to start as soon as possible and you need to start practicing. And that's really going to be, that's really going to be, you know, one of the main themes of the entire series is to get people who are interested in doing this who are deadly serious to take it serious to build a schedule to treat it like it's another job and to understand how important it is to start doing this now i wish i would have started doing youtube five six years ago i'd be in a different place i know i would i wouldn't have had to spend the last two years learning the things i've learned i would have already learned them i'd be you know building i'd be marketing and i'd be doing what i needed to do to get to where i want to be to make this a full-time job so that's going to be a big theme of the series and then we'll have one last video the following week, or soon after that last video even. It'll be basically just a general recap. We'll talk about some of the things. I'll spit some more of my thoughts and feelings out about, uh, you know, the idea of a whole. And, you know, just probably have a lot of really positive things to say for anyone who's looking to get into this. Because 
you know, there's no doubt I want to highlight the negatives and some of the hardships you're going to have to go through, but I want to I want to highlight the positives, you know, the good things that can come from making content for people, entertainment, making, you know, things that people sit down and watch every weekend to laugh at, to, you know, to enjoy, to have with their lunch, you know, to just to cheer up every single day. There's a lot of big bonuses that come to trying to do this lot of thing. But there's also, like I said, there's that serious side. There's a lot of things that you have to do, the mindset you have to put yourself in if you really want to treat this like a proper job. And, uh, you know, as a whole, that's also something that I want to talk about at the end is the idea of this type of thing being something you can actually do for a living if you're looking, you know, to do it right, to, to learn what you need to learn to make sure that you are successful at the end. And that's going to be it. That's pretty much what the series is going to end with. I will have a little bit towards the end of that video where I talk about what I need to work on going into the future because there's no way, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that, I mean, there's, <laughs> my channel isn't perfect is what I'm trying to say. I'm not perfect. I still have a lot to learn. I have a lot to learn when it comes to networking and marketing. These are things that I know I struggle with that I'm still not 100% on. It's why my channel hasn't grown as quickly as it probably could have because I need to work on these things. And that's what I've been recently doing. So we'll kind of close up the video with what I want to do moving into the future, what I want to improve on. But as a whole, I think the series is going to be very beneficial for anyone who's interested in you know, diving into YouTube. They can see the perspective of someone like myself who's been doing it for two years, who's still relatively new, but has learned a lot. And I think it's just going to be really beneficial and really enjoyable. I actually like speaking on this subject to a lot of people and it's always nice that there are people interested because I'm constantly getting asked, hey, Tony, you know, what mic do you use? What do you do this? How did you get to the, where you are? And hopefully we'll be able to cover a lot of those things in the video. A lot of stuff is is really on a personal level. A lot of people like to ask you certain questions straight out and it's like, well, yeah, you know, I mean, there's the core element too, but the rest of it is, it's just things I've learned along the way. And this is an opportunity for me to share those things, get it out there. And yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy the series. Look forward to it. If there's anything that you would personally like to ask that I ensure is fit into this series in one way or another, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If there's any questions you have about it, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And also, I want to make a point that when this series goes live next week with that first video, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing whatever I can to make sure that I answer as many of the questions that anybody will have asked. I have a feeling this is going to do really well. A lot of you are going to have questions about what I say in each of these videos. There's going to be a lot of people who just want to know a little bit more, and I'm going to try and do my best to make sure that I answer those questions for people. So it's going to be a bit of an interactive series, and uh, I'm just really excited for it. I really genuinely am. And as I said, if there's anything else you guys would like to ask or say about the series, feel free to leave it in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one.